Hello everyone and welcome to a tutorial on how to make a CSV file using Google. In this video, I'll show you how to create a CSV file using Google Sheets, which is a free online spreadsheet program that is part of Google Suites of tools. So the first step is you're going to open Google Sheets, okay, in your web browser and sign it to your Google account. If you don't have a Google account, you can create one for free. I'm going to apologize for the banging. I have some construction going on in my house, but I had to get this video out. So the next step is we're going to uh, click on the blank option to create a new spreadsheet. This is going to open a blank spreadsheet where you can start creating your CSV file. Um, you want to go ahead and name whatever you want to name it. I wanted to say customer info. Uh, in the first row of your column, you want to enter the column headers for your CSV file. Um, these headers should describe the data you're entering into each column. Um, for example, if you're creating for your customers, you may have like name, email, and phone number. So let's just name, email, and phone number. If you have some data somewhere, somewhere else, you can just copy and paste that information here. But let's just put name and let's do my email. And spread this out here and my phone number. All right, so that is done. You wanna make sure um, there are no spelling errors or formatting errors. Everything looks good. So once you're there and everything is done, all you have to do is click on file. And you want to go down to download. From there, you want to scroll over to comma separated values, which is CSV from the list of formats. And you want to choose uh, where you want to save the file. Make sure you save it somewhere that you can find it. I'm going to click on save. And that's it. So from there, you have created your CSV file. Remember that CSV files can be opened in any program that supports CSV files, such as Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets. Um, Microsoft Excel is not required. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more helpful tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching.